What's up, YouTube? Georgia Silver Hunter back with another coin roll hunt. Today I stopped by my fifth third bank and picked up a $500 box of halves and a $500 box of quarters. And in this video, we're going to dive into both boxes. So let's get to it. To start with our halves box now this box looks like it was dropped they look they did tape it back together but you can see i still have the brinks sealed tape here original tape so we are going to get into this box and while i'm doing this take a minute head down below this video and click that like button click that subscribe button and click that bell and select all so you get notified every time i post a new video i'd really appreciate it I have a rather large contingency of the folks that watch my videos that haven't yet subscribed, and I would love to see you guys hit that list. So let's see here. We're looking for silver. That's just a really dirty bicentennial. Another bicentennial. All right, well, I'm not seeing any silver here in the top rack. We'll have to get into these rolls to check the bottom. Just quick spot check. I don't see anything. So I'm going to dive in, and I will bring you guys in at the first find. Well, that box went fast. Uh, this was yet another skunk box. Not a single NIFC, um, no errors or variants that I, I found, and definitely no silver. So we're going to get this box out of the way, and we're going to get into those quarters, and uh, hopefully we'll find something interesting. So here they are. I already took the liberty of opening up, opening them up and checking them to make sure we had circulated quarters because there's nothing worse than opening up a box and finding they're completely uncirculated unless they're 2019s or 2020s and you're W hunting. Um, but these are circulated. No idea what's going to be inside. I'm going to open them up. We're looking for silver. That would be anything 1964 and earlier. We're going to look for, there's a bunch of errors. There's a link in my description down below for the common quarter errors that I look for. Most of them are on the reverse side of the quarter. Um, obviously, we'll be looking for Ws. That's uh, West Point quarters from 2019 and 2020. And then we'll also keep an eye out for the new 2021s, the uh, the Airmen uh, quarters, because there's a couple of, of uh, die chips and die cracks that have been found on those. So we'll keep our eye out for those. So let me get into these quarters and hopefully I'll bring you in soon and often. So I just opened up roll number one and nobody likes to see this. Now these are bank wrapped quarters. I've got some shinies in there, but what I'd like to point out is this guy right here. We got cheated. We got a nickel. Looks like a 1975. It's not even a nice nickel. All right, so we're down 20 cents on the box already and we're on roll number one. So we are just getting through roll 25, and as you can tell, I haven't brought you in until now. It's been a little bit of a lackluster box until these last couple of rolls. Um, we did in the last couple of rolls manage to uh, pull seven bicentennials. I think up until roll 20, we only had one. So the uh, last four or five rolls have been really good on the bicentennials. I do have two... Uh, errors that I want to show you guys. I've covered both of these on my channel before, but I found both of them in this box. The first one is the Arizona Cactus, extra cactus error, and it's a die chip where the creator's initials, J-I-M, get covered by a die chip. So this little bit of extra metal here is not supposed to be there, and they call that the extra cactus error. So I found a bunch of those, but they're just fun to look for. And the second one is, and I, it's been, you know, I went months and never found one of these, and now I'm uh, two for two in the last two weeks. This is called the spitting horse error, where there is a die crack that makes you, uh, makes it look like the horse is spitting. So you can see this crack, it goes right through here and underneath the C and actually comes all the way out through the coin. So that is pretty cool. And this, uh, this horse is actually in pretty darn good shape. I mean, it's got some nicks and stuff, but it actually has a lot of shine to it, so not too bad. I'll take it. All right, let's get back to these quarters. So we are 32 rolls in, going through them, and sure enough, we have our first big find of the box. We have a West Point. I do not see a V75 Privy, so it has to be a 2019. We have a Lowell. 
2019 Lowell W. I will take that all day long. That one coin makes this box a win. We're on roll 34, and we have our next find. I didn't even know what this was when I first saw it because I don't know the new quarters very well. This is one of the new Crossing the Delaware 2021s. Looks like a Philadelphia. So I'll hang on to that. It's the first time I found a 2021 Crossing the Delaware quarter. I think it's actually got a really cool design on the back too. All right, so for a quick wrap up, the uh, quarter box won again. Like last week, we had uh, far more value in the quarter box and a lot more fines. Our uh, $500 box of halves produced nothing. We did get 11 bicentennials. A couple of them are pretty cruddy. I'll throw them back because I don't, you know, I do sell these rolls in rolls on eBay, but if they're really bad, I usually pull them and put them back in circulation. Um, I did find that cactus error. That's going for anywhere from two to say $4 on eBay. Uh, we have our spitting horse, which I didn't look up. I recall them being kind of, you know, they're, they're still in that, I don't know, two to $10 range. I don't recall. You can look it up on eBay, but it's a, my, my second one only. So I'm going to hang on to it. We did get this 2021 Crossing the Delaware. I'm going to put it in a flip because it's the first time I found one, and it is in great shape. It is a beautiful quarter. Um, you can see here, great detail. I actually put it under the scope, and uh, while there's some scratches in it, bag marks, whatnot, it is a beautiful quarter. And then, of course, the one coin that does have some value is this Lowell W. Um, this thing's, you know, $8 to about $12 on eBay. Now, in graded condition, which I would never pay to get this graded, they can go for a lot more. I saw them going for $60, $70, but they were in much better condition than this one. Um, but again, I like collecting the W, so that'll get flipped and put in my stack. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, take a second, go down below, click that like button, click that subscribe button, click the bell and select all so you get notified each time I release a new video because I try to do stuff at least a couple of times a week. And uh, lately, the, the boxes have been real spotty, so I haven't been posting everything I've been hunting. Uh, but at least we had some finds here, so I wanted to get this out for you guys to enjoy. Let me, do on, let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions or if there's anything else you'd like to know about coin roll hunting. And with that, I'll close it out. Take care, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.